Hey, can somebody tell me who this man is? I've seen this man everywhere on TikTok, and his content is uploaded onto multiple different channels that it's really difficult to indicate where specifically the original source comes from. I've seen his content so frequently on TikTok that I've made it a mission of mine to save every single individual video that I come across into a separate playlist. And a lot of these are repeats, but it's just, I'm collecting an abundance for who knows what. Do you know how many videos I've accumulated within the span of two weeks? Hundreds. The point of this video is to find out where this man comes from and which specific channel or platform his videos originate from and to see if he makes his stuff individually or to see if he's part of some entertainment organization. So get ready, person I don't know the name of but probably will by the end of this video. We're going on a manhunt. And so the American experiment begins. Or China, I guess. But how do you start off every good internet investigation? You go on Reddit. I actually did some digging on the internet before I decided to turn this into a video. I searched up high trend on Google, and this little Reddit post popped up. And thankfully, there's a lot of information that we can take from here. If you've seen this man's videos or other videos that have this same type of concept, you can see that they fall into the description given here. A story or recipe based on what they cook and prepare, or eating Chinese sweets in a 100-year-old worn-out shop. Let's take a look at the former first. Good quality recordings, multiple camera positions, and very professionally, similarly, expertly cut. So this post could have the same thought that I have. If you've seen one of his videos, you'll notice how meticulous the process of shooting one of these is. There are multiple high quality shot scenes throughout his hundreds of videos, which leads me to believe that this is done professionally. Going further down, we have critical information. The man's name is apparently Biaozi, which is probably blatantly stated in the video, but a lot of the videos that I come across on TikTok, aside from the one on high trend, are either cut or chopped or sped up or color corrected, uploaded again in a lower quality. It's, it's you, you get the idea. Oh yeah, I also can't read or speak Mandarin, which I assume is their dialect. It's as if they're all actors of the same series or belong to the same agency, and these videos have a source from which they are downloaded and re-uploaded to YouTube and TikTok. This is also important because despite the account having a verified check mark, High Trend isn't the original source of the videos. On this account, videos are collected from another website and funneled through this channel. So if the original videos aren't on TikTok, where are they? Well, my non-parasocial friends, the original source of these videos can be found on TikTok's sister channel, Douyin. Douyin is China's version of TikTok. In fact, it came before TikTok. Both are literally the same site, but Douyin operates under different servers to comply with Chinese internet laws. What this could mean, and correct me if I'm wrong, is that TikTok, our TikTok, isn't available to be downloaded in China. So what this could mean is that Hightrend is a channel or an organization that the original creator of the videos on Douyin pays in order to get their content on TikTok. Further down, some replies give us some more information. A link to one of the songs that we would find in these videos. <laughs> now that we have our information and we know what we're looking for, let's go to the original source and track down Biao. Let's go to Douyin. I went onto the website with the assumption that I could navigate it like TikTok, but um, I can't read any of this. So where do I start? I just decided to pull from my knowledge on how to navigate TikTok. Remember before when we got the song from the Reddit post? And remember when I said I found re-uploads of his own videos under different sounds whenever they would pop up on my For You page on TikTok? If you click on a sound on the bottom right hand corner of a video on TikTok, you'll see the thousands or even millions of separate posts that use that specific sound in their videos. Going off this logic, I thought that if I could put the name of the song that he uses in his videos on the search bar in Douyin that I could find him easily. So I did just that. I took the Hanzi characters from the YouTube video and put it into the Douyin search bar. And... I think I'm getting somewhere. Well, I was close. I tried going on the training page to help find creators with high follower counts, but that didn't work. And then I remembered. Flashback. Wait, I have the translator app. I can just hold it over. I had the Google Lens translator app. I fumbled a bit, but I think I got the hang of it. Well, as well as you can handle the Google Lens translator app. Where is it? Where's my translator app? I also made another discovery. 
I'm so sorry. Usually if a video was downloaded or re-uploaded from TikTok, the video would have a watermark on it that would go from the side and then to the bottom. Douyin doesn't have that watermark. Now there are sites to remove the watermark, but I don't think Hytrend would do this. I'm just going off of uh, an honor. <laughs> I'm just going off an honor system. So this further confirms that is somewhere on Douyin, and we have to sniff him out, and then find him. I decided to consult translate again. If I try using Roman characters in the search bar for Douyin, it won't work. I won't get as many results. So what if I use Hashi characters? So I type Biao into Google Translate and then put it into the search bar. And then... Oh! Oh! I, I found Biao in 25 minutes! I almost got psyched out! Because all of his videos didn't load immediately after I went on the page. Wait. This is a... This is verified. Are there more videos? There should be more videos than this, right? I'm sure he has more videos. This is bizarre. This is him, right? Let me double check this. I only have this account. Okay, yeah, I've seen a lot of these. He's still missing some though. Works 174. Okay. Oh, there we go. I don't know what happened. Oh. Yeah, there's everything. Oh, so, wait, does that mean load more? Oh! 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 <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, there's everything. Yeah, this is the official account. But we found him! His username is huaijishigu53, and he has uploaded 174 confirmed videos. With little to no evidence of who he is on TikTok, I thought I would never find the answer. We did it! Our mission is complete! Everybody pack it up. You found him, Jethro. Found him. The video is over. We're done. We're done. Wait. What was that? <gasps> Finding Biao Shi was only 50% of the video. Now we have to find the other 50%. Remember before in that Reddit post? Like, oh my god. Where they mentioned that Hytrend also uploads a series of people who run a store? There's another channel on TikTok called Hytrend1 that's not verified, where they also upload videos of country life. And while that might be the case, the one I'm looking for... ...is something different. There's another series involving country life that isn't under Hytrend, that I believe falls closer in line with Biaki's <laughs> style of editing for his videos. Uh, oh god. They have the same style of editing, and they also often use the same background music for their videos. Is there a connection between them? The only way to find out is to find them too. On Douyin. If you're unsure of who I'm talking about, I'm talking about this series. A bunch of people participate in this convenience store setting either as the people behind the counter or as customers showing off the products. Apparently, through Douyin, the merchandise shown off can be bought through the Douyin website itself. That's pretty cool. I don't know his name, but he's the most unhinged. Maybe they operate under multiple TikTok accounts? These guys, especially this guy. Love this guy. <laughs> so unhinged, but... Yeah! <laughs> On TikTok, their videos are primarily under a channel called CH78UP. But like Biaoshi's <laughs> videos, they'll be re-uploaded, sped up, and chopped. After pulling a Yesterday, like the Beatles movie, and leaking out the original creator of Biaoshi's <laughs> videos to the Western world, I went on another hunt. After doing the same thing, translating to Haji text and putting it into the search bar, I was getting nowhere. So I went back to Biaoshi's videos and I decided on a new strategy. I was gonna blindly click the hashtags. Are there similar... what are these hashtags? And sure enough, no, this isn't official. This is official. I found one half of them. Some people were missing, which led me to believe that for this specific series, there were two separate channels. I did another search, and I found them. Oh. I, did, I don't know, I didn't do that before. There were multiple channels. There were multiple channels. The first one I found was called Yabashe, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, 43353. And the second one was PP580580. And they were live. Yeah, the same set. 
There's the bike that the guy would kick over before jumping five feet. All the snacks are on the counter and on the back shelf. And look at the live video user interface. You can see how conveniently the live setting is set up so that you can donate stickers like on TikTok. And they have links to the website where you can buy snacks from the video. That's pretty cool, but I can see why TikTok may not choose to implement it internationally due to children possibly buying stuff willy-nilly. 27.99 yuan is roughly about four to five US dollars, which is actually, that's actually pretty good. But can you imagine seeing on TikTok a channel selling you a product for 27 US dollars? I think I'd be pretty scared too. Let me just start off by saying that this video was recorded on April 15, 2023. And as I'm editing this, it is June 25th. Do you know what happened in that two month period of time? TikTok has implemented the feature where you can sell products through the videos themselves. And wouldn't you know it, some of these products are within the ranges of $25 to $35 and possibly even more. I'm pretty sure that I've seen some people sell some products that were around $90. I love it when things don't age well. Anyway. Hey, he's there too. So someone else just watched. <laughs> Let's get on to the main point of this. Is there an agency behind these channels? I tried looking further into Douyin, but I couldn't find anything. Also, even though I didn't make a Douyin account, they locked me out of making one. Listen, I tried to find any leads that I can, but I found nothing. I can't speak, nor can I read the language. I would like to one day, but for now, I'm not good enough to do so. Bing bong, hey Shadow, it's me again. The devil. I just want to preface by saying that after this was all recorded, there was behind the scenes footage of Viajeux and his friend making their videos. And from what was shown, it seems that they all produce it themselves and they record all of these on their smartphone, which explains why it's really high quality. Still, even though they do it all themselves, are they still part of an agency? Who knows? There may be some clues or context blatantly shown at the front of the videos that I'm just not able to find or see. So I guess I will leave it up to you, the audience. If you can help in the search to find out if there is an agency, what it is, where it is, what it's called, and where it is, you will bring closure to international audiences who are just as curious about this as I am. So go forth, my good they are, and we will reconvene, not here, but somewhere else, like, a, <laughs> like on another post through social media, or the Raising Canes in DeKalb, Illinois, with the really loud bathroom stall door. <laughs>